alarming. That is how law enforcement officials describe the record amount of drugs seized in Minnesota last year. It is everything from methamphetamine to prescription pills to heroin. Take a look at these numbers from the Minnesota Department of Public Safety. In 2016, officers seized 488 pounds of meth. That is a 484% increase from 2009 when meth seizures were at their lowest levels. Seizures of prescription pills, including opioids, are also up in 2016. The alarming rate at which drugs are being seized from the Twin Cities to greater Minnesota should concern every single Minnesotan. The seizure of illegal drugs like meth, heroin, and pills containing fentanyl is unprecedented. You don't know if this is really oxycodone or if it's fentanyl or if it's a mixture. Law enforcement officials say even though the number of meth labs in Minnesota dropped from 410 in 2003 to just 13 last year, the drug continues to be very accessible. Meth continues to flow into our state. Meth is primarily sourced out of the country of Mexico and makes its way into Minnesota through commercial and uh, private motor vehicles. Meth use is a problem all across the state in cities and rural areas. Faribault has seen a 208 percent increase in meth seizures between 2015 and 2016. So the methamphetamine is really off the charts in the state of Minnesota. We've never seen this before. The seizure of illegal pills that contain synthetic opioids like fentanyl jumped dramatically as well, four times as many in 2016 compared to 2012. Officials say most are shipped here from China. We've seen fentanyl in powder form as well as pill form and micrograms. So the, the size of a salt uh, molecule uh, can kill you uh, if it is carfentanil. Carfentanil is an elephant tranquilizer. Law enforcement officials are working with the Postal Service to try to better identify packages containing illegal drugs. The Commissioner of Public Safety says we cannot enforce our way out of this problem. She called on parents and teachers and the peers of those who take drugs to say enough is enough.